that sounds actually great. Welcome back to Solar Impulse TV, live from the Mission Control Center in Monaco. Bertrand Picard and Solar Impulse 2 have flown about 1,700 kilometers and are well on their way to Abu Dhabi. They took off from Cairo yesterday morning. Things are going well. It was quite a long night for Bertrand, but uh, he is getting a little bit of rest now, I think. And actually here to tell me more about uh, how the flight is going and, and the simulation, we've got one of our simulation experts from our partner, Altron. Hello, Christophe. Hello, Kerry. Yeah, and we are hitting a very critical moment in the morning. Uh, at present, uh, which is? Which is energy neutral morning, uh, the moment where the sun gives enough energy to maintain the level of, to maintain the, the, the altitude of the aircraft by itself, mm -hmm. uh, which means that we will not uh, take the energy into the battery. Uh, and uh, the, 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 so we have reached the minimum of, uh, of battery. Excellent. So, so that's the moment when the pilot can breathe a sigh of relief and know that he will have enough power to go through the next day. Exactly. So uh, it's, uh, this um, line shows uh, the, the energy neutral morning, mm -hmm. which will be at uh, 4 Zulu time, mm -hmm. 6 local. Uh, local. So in about 5 minutes. Uh, in 5 minutes. And um, yeah, yeah, it it will be, it's uh, it's a it's a good 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 moment for all of us. After a hard night, we had a hard night with this uh, with this profile and with uh, lots of turbulences for yeah. Bertrand who couldn't rest. And uh, yeah, uh, the hardest uh, thing I would say of this uh, last leg is behind us. Yes. No. He was doing a lot of having to fly manually, not being able to use the autopilot, and. Uh, I think he actually even flew higher than expected for a little while in the yes, in the, in yes, the morning. Yes, so, yes, um, but things are things are hopefully looking looking up because he's got a big day ahead of him as well. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the um, simulation now. This is your hard, you know, beautiful form yeah. of your, all your hard work after many after ma many years of hard work. But uh, yeah. tell us what's going on here. It's different than some of the other simulations that we've had in that there's um, maybe fewer of these sort of rainbow, the rainbow effect. So it's not <laughs> as windy. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this uh, simulation shows uh, the, um, the travel, I mean the travel of aircraft and what is or behind us is in blue, what is ahead us will be uh, displayed in uh, yellow. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's interesting to, to show the, in particular the wind situation and each uh, a small uh, line here shows the direction of wind and the intensity. Mm -hmm. Depending on the color, and it also shows uh, the um, the patches of uh, of clouds, yeah. I mean main clouds, which are above the aircraft. So we can see here that uh, there is nothing uh, dangerous, risky for the rest of the flight, and uh, normally the the situation will be uh, really good uh, for what is. Uh, Ahead now. Some of the other flights we've had a lot of tailwind, but on this flight it's actually been quite quiet. Lots of updrafts and downdrafts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, during the night we had uh, yes updraft and downdrafts, which means uh, turbulences, which means uh, uncomfortable situation for Bertrand also. And uh, globally speaking, the, 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 this this flight is not uh, um, we, we we could couldn't really um, benefit. Of, um, of a good, good tailwind. Yeah. We, we have a good ground speed, we have what is enough to reach a destination, of course. But, uh, you know, the, the wind changes its direction many times during the, the flight, and um, okay, it's okay. <laughs> we have just enough to, to finish. Um, we've done, at, you've done many kilometers of simulation. I think, it, what is it? It's one, one, 400 million kilometers of simulation for every kilometer flown, is that what it, no? 400 billion. 400 billion. billion <laughs> kilometers flown in simulation, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's... Uh, With, yeah, it, it means, uh, you know, each uh, uh, kilometer really flown by the aircraft uh, required um, uh, 1 billion. One billion kilometer flown of in simulation. Uh, yeah, yeah, flown in simulation. Ah, well, that gives you a real sense of just how much work you've put in, and also just how mm. much planning happens in the background before 
we actually take off. Um, has this been, uh, you know, of, of all the simulations you've done for all the different legs, um, how is this compared or what, what's been the trickiest uh, simulation work that you've had to do? I know you had to do a simulation to build the airplane too, so maybe that, that we can include that. No, I think what was really tricky, okay, yeah, two, two, two different things. Uh, yeah, the, the, the preparation of the simulation of the, all the mathematical models to um, to conceive to conceive the aircraft with uh, uh, with the chief, chief engineer um, Peter Fry, and uh, that was really tricky because we we knew that uh, we have to uh, reach a really uh, good level of accuracy in order mm -hmm. to 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 build the right aircraft. Yeah. Yeah. And afterwards, what was really tricky uh, was uh, the preparation of the virtual flights. Yeah. Because we had, you know, we had uh, to uh, to fly with the aircraft uh, virtually before uh, the aircraft really exists, in order to train the team, in order to um, to, to 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 learn how to fly with with it. Yeah. And uh, we also knew at this moment that uh, it was really important for all of us to be able to simulate every leg of uh, the round the world adventure. Yeah which means a lot of preparation with the air traffic controllers, with meteorologists, with the mission engineers. So, yeah, years of uh, work, and it's about to... And, lo yeah, and lots of conclusion. Yeah, yeah. Lots of, mm. and lots of mathematics. I think we shouldn't forget that it's a very pretty picture, but you are a mathematician, mm. so this, is, this requires a lot of hard uh, math work. So if you're in school looking at this, you can be inspired. <laughs> this is what you could be doing someday. And this is a very practical you know, uh, use of uh, mathematics, and uh, the combination of innovation and mathematics is really, uh, I mean, gives a really good things. Yeah. yeah, excellent. Well, that's uh, yeah, another aspect of the Solar, Solar Impulse project and the people here. Um, excellent. We'll go back to Bertrand in the cockpit now, and uh, we will be keeping you updated throughout the rest of today as he makes his way closer to Abu Dhabi and gets ready for landing.